Congress. But as we move forward through the rest of the evening, speculation continues about possible candidates for one of Ohio's Senate seats in 2022 after Senator Portman announced he would not be running for re-election. Today we found out it looks like Dr. Amy Acton is seriously considering a run. Will Ewick gets our coverage started today, joins us live now with details. Hi there, Will. Yeah, Betsy, normally we would not be talking about a potential open Senate seat in 2022 this early in the game. But because of Senator Rob Portman's announcement, speculation and buzz has been really all a flutter all around the state of Ohio and even on a national scale. And one of the most talked about candidates, you mentioned Dr. Amy Acton. We kind of got a little more guidance from her today as she released a statement saying that she is going to be exploring the idea of a campaign. In her statement, she said that many Ohioans have shared concerns and expressed a need for a new approach. She's stepping down from her role at the Columbus Foundation in order to consider how she can best serve. Now, Dr. Acton was Ohio's medical director under Governor DeWine before stepping down about seven months ago. So you can throw her name in now to a list of other Democrats weighing a run, like the mayor of Dayton, Ann Whaley, Representative Tim Ryan. On the Republican side, you have names like former state treasurer Josh Mandel, Ohio Secretary of State Frank LaRose, Bernie Moreno, and Ohio Republican Party Chair Jane Timken. A lot of buzz that former Channel 3 political analyst Tom Barra says will probably sort itself out over time. All of these candidates are going to have to take some time now to see what are my chances of raising the kind of serious money that I need, uh, how well am I known around the state, because a, uh, a wide open Senate seat uh, does not occur very often. So it's a golden opportunity that, uh, that a lot of candidates will not want to miss. Now, as far as dark, Dr. Amy Acton is concerned, that weighing out may take a little bit of time. A source close to her tells me that it's not expected that she's going to make a formal announcement anytime soon. It could be weeks, possibly into a few months as she kind of weighs in exactly what she wants to do from here, Betsy. Well, the handful of candidates are already starting to come out. There's certainly more that will be added to the list, so we'll keep an eye on that. Will, thank you so much. We look more uh, forward to more of your report tonight on what matters most at 6.